Hi. Um, I, I had a very different video planned for this week, but um, unfortunately on Wednesday there was some really bad news. A former co-worker, mom blogger friend of mine, Heather Armstrong, had taken her own life. Um, I'm sick to my stomach about it. And, uh, you know, years ago we were we did mom conversation together, which is how I got to got to know her. And she was a huge, huge mom blogger. I mean, she was like the grandmama, so to speak, of of mom bloggers and a very successful published writer. Um, I think because of her struggles with depression and how she wrote so honestly and with so much vulnerability, and because of the way her life ended, she will be remembered as like a Sylvia Plath of the digital age. And she really connected with a lot of people. A lot of people really connected with her, you know, and her feelings. Uh, it was, it, it's a double-edged sword because she also got a lot of hate sometimes, you know, for that vulnerability, uh, for telling about her life, honestly, more, more honestly than I talked about mine. That's for sure. Um, I was actually kind of shocked recently when I, saw on Instagram some really negative comments towards her and I was like, didn't she just publish a whole book about how severely depressed she's been? Like, ooh, it's... to paraphrase, please, my friends, be kind for everybody you meet online is fighting their own hard battle. Um, I experienced her very differently. I experienced her as just a really bright, kind person. My daughter and I, years ago, we were in Utah and we visited her and her home and she was warm and hospitable and, and great to talk to and down to earth and helped me tell, figure out where to take my daughter sledding. And, and then I, I called her when I was coming down the hill and it was snowing. I was like, ah, she was like, yeah, I was worried about you. Cause she knows I'm from Los Angeles. I don't know, drive in snow. Um, but anyway, we had a nice visit and, uh, you know, kept in touch a little bit, but so I get this call from, or a text from a mutual friend, somebody who was closer to her than I was. And it said, Heather, question mark, question mark, exclamation point. And because he's in media, my first thought was like, oh, I hope this means, like, oh, like she got some cool new TV deal or something like that, you know, which was the kind of thing people would react to. But my next thought was, because if it's not, it's something, it's what it was, you know? Um... I'm very sorry for her family. Uh, I lost a family member to suicide, and it really fucks you up. Fucks you up good. Fuck me up good. Don't ever think people are better off without you. They are not. They are not, I promise you. Uh, so, I'm going to share a short video of me and Heather and our fellow mom blogger, Rebecca Wolf. Uh, just very lighthearted kind of thing from was about 12 years ago. Conversations was about to have its 15th anniversary and uh, you know it was it was a big deal at the time you know and, and Heather we went on Oprah and Heather was the, the biggest and the most famous of any of us um, and and you know like Rebecca and Heather they, they were really about writing I was always more video stuff but um, anyway this this is this is us kind of talking about when you're in the trenches with little kids and maybe you don't want any more little kids and the truth is that what I didn't what I stopped blogging, blogging about, but she continued to, is, is how hard it is to raise teenagers, particularly in the digital age and all the things that are coming at us. And it is, it's, it is, as probably many of you know. Anyway, enjoy this little video, a little time capsule from when we still lived with, you know, simply blackberries. And one other grief tidbit I have is if you can ever have a moment of joy a moment a day, whatever. Uh, it doesn't betray the person that's gone. It's just, just enjoy it. Rest in peace, Heather. It was, I'm really glad I got to know you a little bit. Condoms, condoms, condoms. I love condoms. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Wolf from Girls Gun Child, and today I want to talk about birth control. What birth control are you on? What are you doing right now to keep from getting pregnant with your third baby? And I'm looking at you, Daphne and Heather, and everyone else, because I know you two have two babies.
just like myself. Um, I decided uh, when I was pregnant with Fable that um, I would go on something a little um, more permanent than just taking the pill. So I had a baby, what, 10, 12, 12 weeks ago? And I'm breastfeeding, so in order to not get pregnant again, we're using the mini pill, condoms, spermicide, sponge, a diaphragm, an IUD. How's this for permanent, Rebecca? Vasectomy. Yep, stick. It's been done, that's right. Mr. Brogdon had that done. I'm getting a hysterectomy, he's getting a vasectomy, and we're sleeping in separate homes. And you think I'm kidding. I am not kidding. I don't know if I have reiterated enough on my conversation that I am not gonna do it again. I am not going to get pregnant again. No, 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 no. I am 100% with you, Heather. The second child that I birthed, He's the last child I birthed. I uh, love my kids, don't want to do it again. I remember I was getting my CVS and that needle was going through my abdomen that <gasps> I was, all that got me through it was thinking, this is the last time I do this. No, 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 no. I did not want to go back on the pill after Fable was born. I wanted something more permanent, like I said, so I opted for the Morena IUD, $1,500 later. Jesus Christ, I'm not even gonna get into the PPO situation. So that is what's working for me right now, the Morena IUD. Um, and um, because the, the pill, condoms, we've been there, oh my God. <laughs> condoms are not, are, does not, do not work for us. We, we are bad condom users. I love condoms. Condoms, condoms, condoms. I love condoms. I don't know why people don't like condoms, man. Well, I never got why people don't like condoms. They, they never failed me. I tell you what, a condom at this point is not enough. Let's just put it that way. I have heard, I've heard too many stories of women going, well, he was wearing a condom and I still got pregnant. Now, either you were drunk and didn't realize that he wasn't wearing a condom or you bought some bad condoms. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but for those of you who have husbands who didn't get a vasectomy or won't get a vasectomy, here are some of the others of my favorite uh, birth control methods. Number one, get married and have kids. Number two, have a husband who works at night. That'll really just knocks out all opportunity. Watch one of the many reality shows where people have given birth to multiple children. I don't even need to name them. You know who they are. What kind of birth control do you find most effective? What kinds of birth control do you not find as effective? I feel like a sex ed teacher. You know, like, let's talk about birth control, girls, and then we're gonna put the condoms on the bananas. <sighs> Those were the days, weren't they? <laughs> if that means abstinence, that means abstinence, kids. Join the Monversation at monversation.com.